Hello everybody, this is Nia Fana and I'm here with weekly astrological message for the week between the 12th and the 19th of December 2020. So before I even begin, I just want to say I still have 25% Corona virus uh, special uh, discount for my community. So if you want to utilize that for readings with me or private lessons or joining a group, Please contact me. All the details are at the slide at the end. Other than that, I want to inform you that um, I'm in the midst of a battle. I've been accused of um, not speaking the truth regarding a sexual encounter I had with an older teacher in astrology years ago that left me hurt. And I'm just calling everybody who's been ever hurt by an astrologer, female or male, anonymous, young or very well known to step forward. We have a new ethics organization coming up, being set up and let's make our global community a better place. Let's make sure that things that might be tolerated in the university between a student and a teacher or you know in the mundane world are not tolerated in this spiritual and therapeutic um you know area that we are all in arena that we are all in it's not mundane here our carnality cannot enter of course to every rule there is an exception and love is exempt from rules you know but there's a big difference between love and passion and passion <coughs> needs to be controlled because it's like if it doesn't it's like you know the older priests hitting on the younger ones or like your therapist trying to bed you after you've had a session with him it just doesn't work so if any of you have been hurt by an astrologer in the past this is the time to raise your voice and come forward we need you we need you because I'm I'm raising a voice for many silent people and right now I need those voices backing me up so and especially regarding the person I'm battling if you've ever been hurt sexually or otherwise by a male astrologer come forward come forward speak about that okay raise your voice let me know personally on a private message so um, or female okay for that matter we are heading into a total solar eclipse we are in the midst of eclipses this eclipse is going to be in the 23rd degree of Sagittarius Mercury is in the mix um, Mars is in the mix so it's very dynamic very energetic fast pasting energy spreads all over like you know like fire in a dry field this is the kind of energy that we have in the sky there's so much mutable energy coming up and such an intense mutable energy that things are going to become much more dynamic much more loose and optimistic in a sense and large and boundless the mutable energy in the sky is about dissemination so Corona virus wise this is not a good thing you know this could actually quicken the spread of this third wave throughout the world and it could make us to happy-go-lucky think that we're going to be okay and actually help it be spread instead of being harsher and more wise and restrictive with ourselves in this period of time other than that, our words, our minds, our navigation through life can be done in a much faster, more vital pace. 
it's a good time for healing as Chiron would step forward after a long time being in retro and 15th if I'm not mistaken and then by the end of the week it's trining Venus as well so it's a wonderful time to heal yourself through relationships with people you love through food and drink and being in a physical body that has five senses and being in a physical plane and enjoying it and it's about nurturing the body and nurturing the relationships and nurturing your self-esteem now nurturing yourself the time of eclipses is a time that time and space do not work uh, according to the usual laws that we all recognize and feel familiar with. Things can change immensely in very little time. We can feel that the energy is different. And things that change in eclipses have strategic long-term effects. I want to say that right now it's a time of permanent. It's a time that we need not to believe everything because we're heading into, we are in a Sun square Neptune and Mercury square Neptune. So um, this is really a time that a lot of mistakes could be done if we act too quickly. It is a time to impregnate yourself, to let that pregnancy come to turn so to speak, and not to act too uh, impulsively. I'm sorry for that. Ooh, are you okay guys? I hope that didn't hurt. I hope that didn't hurt. So, yeah, so you're still recording. <laughs> and not to act too impulsively with that. Um, what else? So, yeah, that kind of blew me away. <laughs> so, um, Saturday, Sunday, they look okay in the sky. Just We have the square Mercury, square Neptune on Sunday. Um, so, do make sure that you're understanding things correctly and that you are being understood. Then on the 14th we have the solar eclipse on the 23rd degree. Uh, Venus sextiles Jupiter and Mercury is conjunct the moon and the moon trines Mars. So as I said the 14th itself will hold a very special energy. We're heading in next week to the winter solstice and the great conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn in the first degree of Aquarius. Saturn steps into Aquarius over this week and then two days later by the end of this week um, Jupiter does as well. So Thursday it's uh, the 17th it's uh, Saturn and then by Saturday uh, Jupiter joins them and, and, and this is going to be the first conjunction in air for a long time We've had all the conjunctions in Earth up to now for a very long time. And it's another significator of the change that we are in. The age, the new age that we are in, the age of Aquarius, the quickening of the paste. I think none of us, we were all, you know, um, surprised. That's Uranian, surprised. A Uranian word, an Aquarian word, by how fast and how strangely 2020 and the initiation to the age of Aquarius has changed our world and our life. Um, v um, Mercury is going to trine Mars over this week, and Venus is also sextiling Saturn. Uh, Chiron is walking direct so we could actually feel that we are not threading water anymore regarding healing our wounds that we are walking forward in some sort of manner our words our navigation through life can become much more impulsive fast dynamic and our relationships and who we are is judged things can peel off easily now if they don't really hold the value. 
Um, the 19th, Saturday, is a nice day. You know, it's a nice day for anything like an outdoor activity. It's great for movies or theater or anything artistic, and it's great for anything spiritual. Um, it's wonderful for healing with friends through cherishing our relationships and enjoying each other's company as well. So that's about everything I had to say. I want to thank you for watching this. I want to thank you for commenting on these videos and sharing them. It exposes them to more people. And I want to send you all love and strength and light at this midwinter, longest night of the year. We have the Festival of Lights here in Israel, Hanukkah, where we should all remember that we are only but small lights, but together we are invincible, truly invincible. So, spread the light. This is Neophyter. May we live long and prosper. Bye-bye.